All right, YouTube, this is Maker Steve in the workshop, and this is the first in a series of videos on 3D Printing 101, uh, where I'm going to walk you through basic uh, printer repair, maintenance, um, all the stuff that it's going to take for you to be able to uh, use your printer and be effective with it. So uh, in this case, we're going to simulate a uh, printer roll running out. Uh, I've got some other video showing it, and I think we'll splice it in nicely. And so basically, um, you got to catch it before it runs out. Filament sensors are good, but they don't always mount well. Um, but you walk up to your printer, you hit, you hit the button, you go down to tune, and scroll all the way down to the bottom option. Now this is on an Ender 3, a CR10 is a little different, um, but basically most printers are going to have this option and if they do once you hit the button it'll finish the line of G code that it's currently working and it will come up and move to the home position so here it's it's backing up it's set at the home position and it backs out the uh, filament far enough for you to get after it so when you go to change your roll you pull out what you don't need. You clip it at a 45 degree angle. Discard your extra. In my case, it goes on the floor. And you feed it into the hole there. And after a while, you'll get to know right where that's at. And often, it will go in like this did, and it will get hung up on this compression fitting. So at this point, I keep these finger tight, I remove that, I depress the uh, lever for the, the gear on the extruder, I slide it in a little bit, and it's in there. Now it's very important, you don't move the gantry up and down. Um, depending on your configuration, your gantry may move very easily. Uh, so as you go, you just pinch, and you just make sure you're using pressure going in and not up or down because if you go up or down from there you've destroyed the print. You feed a little bit through, you pick it off the hot end and you can hear the audible alarm screaming at you. Um, as soon as you hit the button it'll go back and continue where it was working. So that's the uh, first video in the Maker Steve 3D Printing 101. It's how to uh, change your uh, filament mid-print, and we've got a lot more coming, so uh, like, subscribe, make a comment below if you've got a problem you've been dealing with. I will uh, definitely do my best to attack it for you, and this is Maker Steve signing off.